Hey everybody, it's JP Bailey with Recovery Tapping with another tip for you today. The, the variety of uses you can use tapping with. So you may have heard of the Wheel of Life. I just basically looked around on Google Images and found one. You know, they vary a little bit, but these are the main categories in your area of, of your Wheel of Life. You know, all the basic areas in your life. And course the tapping diagrams this is just the shortcut round but it's a good round to memorize and do for lots of different things so with the wheel of life what I basically did was you know instead of trying to tackle my whole life and how much stress and what to tap on I looked at each area of my life one at a time on the wheel and the first thing I asked was, you know, how stressful is this area of my life on a scale of 1 to 10? And I just wrote the number, you know, right inside the wheel there. You could draw a wheel on paper or just jot down the categories and put your number. And after I had them all rated, you know, I might go through, you know, one at a time and do a tapping round. And what I would tap on is, you know, what is draining in each area? So I'd pick one area at a time, and I'd ask myself, like in my career, what's draining me there? And I'd write that down. And then in the money category, you know, what's draining me there? And I'd go around the whole wheel. So I have my, my number of how stressful it is and what is the most draining thing in each area. And then simply one at a time, I would go through and tap on each of those areas, the, the high level of stress, as well as using those exact words of what was draining you. So you can just tap on, even though XYZ is draining me in my career, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. And then I do a tapping round on this XYZ, you know, draining my career. This XYZ draining my career. I'd go around doing a round like that. When I got done, of course, I like to take a nice deep breath and then reevaluate, you know, how much is that draining or distressful to me. Hopefully the number comes down a little bit so I can take a fresh look at that category. So I'd go to the next category, do a tapping round on that, like give yourself a half hour, hour session and just go through, tap on each thing one at a time, take a nice deep breath and drink water in between each one. And this is to get the energy that's been stuck or stale, any kind of stress that's stuck. You know, get it moving, get some fresh energy in your body. You know, maybe stretch and take a little break in between. But once you, you're done with that, where you've tapped on each one, now go back and look at each area and ask yourself, what's inspiring me about this area of my life? Either something that's inspiring you now or something in the future, some kind of possibility, some kind of potential, or some goal, something you want in that area that would really inspire you, and write that down for each of the areas. Go through each one, one at a time. What would inspire me to have more health? What, what, what's inspiring me right now about my friends and family? What's inspiring about a significant other ro or romantic relationship? What would inspire me to increase my personal growth or what does inspire me about my personal growth and so on for the rest of the the wheel so now that you have a nice list of each area of your life what inspires you about it and set that up into some sort of overall goal for the next month or two but pick out from that big goal I don't want you to be overwhelmed which you could tap on feeling overwhelmed but out of each main goal you have about what's inspiring craft a like a mini little strategy or a mini little nano baby step goal that you can do today to tap into that you know so today i might take an extra walk to inspire my health you know today i might do my tapping for my personal growth part you know, the fun and recreation part, I might think, I'm going to plan something fun this weekend. You know, some little thing that you can do in the near future, today, tomorrow, the near future, within the next week, something you can put in your calendar 
So that's basically how I look at an overall, you know, inspiring thing I want. Set that up into a concrete overall goal to um, work towards. And then pick out one step that you can do today or in the near future that moves you closer to that goal. But first, of course, tap on any stress in the areas as you're working on it and just get really clear because, you know, you want your life created by yourself by design, not by default. You don't want to just see what hits you. You want to be more intentional about where you want to go moving forward. In spite of the fact that you might have a lot of barriers, you still want to keep your hope alive. You want to um, keep moving on and moving forward. Um, like I always say, flat lines are for dead people. So sitting around doing nothing in any area is, you know, for people who aren't here anymore. Or maybe when you're in a nursing home. <laughs> In other words, um, you know, keep keep moving. It's our nature to keep moving and be goal oriented. So we want to know what we want, what's in our way, have tools to deal with what's in our way, and see ourselves, you know, moving forward into the goals we want for each area. So that's my little tip for today. Um, if you'd like to get my recovery tapping starter kit, which I've just recently had the bright idea to put together, please just find me on Facebook and right on my timeline cover, you can click there and you'll see the link to get an email, several emails from me, three emails with each part of the starter kit in there. So I have the wellness pocket, um, wellness recovery in your pocket guide, the 10 ways to detach from toxic people, um, and the codependency self-assessment, and they all come with tapping diagrams as well. So I didn't want to overwhelm you, so I put them in there. You get one in each email every two days. So you get three emails in the next week with each of those things. And then I'm only going to email if I have a special you know, webinar or video I put out or some tips like this or have spots open for coaching or things like that. I'm not going to really email too much. And you can unsubscribe at any time, of course. But let your friends know, because these are really good tapping recovery um, resources that I'm putting together to put out there. I want to share everything that I've learned that has worked for me and many others to help the most people I can get get well and stay well and increase your wellness. So happy tapping. This is JP Bailey signing out. Take good care.